Ongoing frustration tonight from Little Village residents and leaders there after they say violence has taken over. Since last Saturday, two people have been killed less than a mile from one another. Today, they took their frustration to the streets holding a peace march. CBS 2's Darius Johnson has the latest. In the last month, Little Village residents and leaders have met with police to express their frustrations about the ongoing violence in the community. Today, they're putting their pain on the pavement in an effort to spread peace in a place they call home. Heavy hearts line the pavement near 26th and Albany and Little Village. All the effort we put just destroyed by violence, then we have to react to that. Near the arch, these hearts are ready to march with purpose. And the violence is taking over our neighborhood, and that's why we decided to organize this peace march, to show them the know this is our neighborhood, this is our, our community. We don't want to get a bad name, it's a dangerous neighborhood. This is Baltazar Enriquez's community, along with those who line 26th Street beside him, standing strong with emotion, but no fear. If we allow this, to take over our image, then we'll be known as a violent neighborhood. We'll be known as a dangerous neighborhood. A neighborhood they're hoping to tackle with the help of police from the 10th district. We came out with a strategy of having block meetings. And in those block meetings, having police officers come without a uniform. Be, you know, be like part of us. Police say this week, two people were killed in Little Village. On Monday, 25-year-old Christian Covarubias was shot and killed near a bakery at 26 and Sawyer. Last Saturday night, a 22 and 17-year-old were shot at 25th and Trumbull. 22-year-old Brandon Alcaraz died. No arrests have been made. Each one of us has a part to play uh, in, to create peace in the neighborhood. Father Tom Boherrick is a priest at Mother of America's Just Blocks Away. While he hasn't experienced violence firsthand, he's walked with those who have, like today, and he's holding out hope. My hope for, for a little village, my hope for the community is reconciliation. My hope is that uh, um, people could walk from one side of the village without the, act, the other side without being in fear. But Lord, help us to work for peace every single day. Reporting in Little Village, I'm Darius Johnson, CBS 2 News. Enriquez says residents are building more trust by talking with police at those block meetings.